Please welcome Paul McKenna. Paul, it's good to have you. Very nice to be here. Thanks so much. Okay. All right, very nice to meet you. You were on the show last year, yes. and I, I, I'm very skeptical on this kind of stuff. Sure. It, you did kind of blow me away because you got people in the audience to do all sorts of things and mm. fall asleep. And I, I mean, I couldn't tell if it was a trick or not mm. or what. You say it's not. Now, you tell me, how does hypnotism work? Well, you know, hypnotism has been studied uh, by um, august institutions like Yale and Harvard, all kinds of different places in this country for a long time now because for years it's been shrouded in mystery, but it is a psychological set of techniques that allow us to move beyond, if you like, the boundaries of our ordinary thinking. So we can use it to change behaviors, to lose weight, to quit smoking, to overcome fears and phobias, but also um, it's used more and more, or if you like, imagination, hypnosis, like techniques are used in business. People, you know, imagine going off into the future and they look at what they're doing and their competitors are doing and they call it strategic planning in business. But basically, um, the hypnosis word's got a bit of baggage, but the techniques that involve imagination and the loss of the sense of self are prevalent through society now. How long does it take? Because I know you met with some of our audience members yesterday, but are they different for if you want to lose weight as opposed to stop barking like a dog, which I assume yeah. <laughs> nobody yeah. does? Yeah, well, do you know, this is a good question. It really depends upon several things. The willingness of the person to participate, the skill and the flexibility of the operator, the person who actually is performing the hypnosis, and what you're asking them to do. So, for example, years ago it used to take us six months to remove a phobia. Now most phobias are about 60 minutes using modern psychological... Really? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, but can anybody be hypnotized? Because, are you, or do you have to be sort of... Susceptible because you we, we asked people who are going to be in the audience today mm -hmm. if they were interested in possibly being hypnotized a, a bunch of people more than a dozen responded they came here yesterday they met with you yeah. and you kind of talked to them and I guess mm -hmm. what, what were you looking for well do you know everyone can be hypnotized it used to be believed that only 30 percent of the population could be but that's because the researchers used one induction so that showed how flexible people were to respond to rigid induction. Nowadays, we find if we vary the induction, and depending on how, how long you've got... What is induction? Well, the induction, the hypnotic induction, okay. the process whereby I induce you into a trance. Okay. Yeah? So if you vary that, then I've, I've never found anyone who can't be hypnotized. Now, does that mean can you get anybody to do anything you want? No. So it's very often associated with mind control. And in a way, that's a, it's an unfortunate sort of pejorative term, you know, a negative term, because what hypnosis does is ultimately gives you more control over your mind. Okay, so you met with a group of people yesterday who yes. are now in the audience today. These are people who were going to be in the audience today. These are not people you know from your... I never met them before. They're not yeah. your relatives no. the, and then who are just here. <laughs> um, but you selected a couple of them that you think are easy to work with? Well, you know, actually, uh, everyone was easy to work with, but what we wanted to do was certain things. For example, one of the routines I wanted to demonstrate is that, uh, for example, we use a technique called deep trance identification. So say I want to learn something, like I want to learn how it is that somebody does a particular thing, from juggling to, you know, negotiating to television presenting. I then hypnotize myself or somebody else and I get my mind, that amazing holographic computer that we all have, to build a psychological and a physiological map of that person. It's a bit like a method actor. And then I wake myself up and I become that person. And, and I've done that with some of our people here. I've said, pick a role model and I will hypnotize you to become that person. You will see the world through their eyes. You will think the same sort of thoughts they have and you will have insights into that person that you couldn't have possibly had. All right, so this is you yesterday working with them. Do you want to just, they're all here. Do you want to just go out and do your thing? Yes, sure. All right. I mean, for example, uh, let's, uh, who's here, for example, who is it that you wanted to, to be more like or to get insight into, ma'am? Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey, okay. Uh, who is it for you, sir? Bill Gates. Bill Gates. For you, sir? Martha Stewart. Okay, Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. So, <laughs> this is going to be entertaining. But you know, but why not? Okay, and uh, who's you, madam? Yep. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Okay, so now because I hypnotized these people yesterday, I left uh, the ability to reinduce them into hypnosis very quickly. So even though you're looking at me, shake hands with me and close your eyes and sleep and relax deeply down. That's right. Okay, and look at me. And you, yes, we can shake hands, sleep and relax deeply down. There you go. And if I could ask you to just close your eyes and sleep and relax. And also, I'd like you, ma'am, to just sleep and relax. There we go, deeply down. And what I want you to do is to go on a search at the unconscious level. Our unconscious mind is a genius 
biocomputer. And I want you to build a physiological and a psychological map. In other words, I want you to think about the posture, the way that your role model moves, the way they sit, the way they stand. I want you to step into them. I want you to feel the way they feel, see through their eyes. And I want you to have the same sort of quality of thoughts. I want you to let go of yourself. Forget about yourself in, this, in these next few moments and become your role model. So adopt their posture now. And I want you to, that's right, be able to speak and be able to think and be able to act just as your role model does because I want to be able to have a conversation with you. So when I awaken you in the next few moments, you will become your role model. You'll forget about yourself just for the time being, and you'll become your role model. Eyes open, wide awake, wakey, wakey. Hello. Hi, what is your name, ma'am? Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. Uh, you're a renowned uh, talk show host. Uh, is there anything you'd like to ask me, for example? Does hypnosis work? Yes, it does. I mean, it doesn't work for everyone every time, but, you know, generally, I, I find it works. Uh, you know, you're a remarkable woman. Uh, can I ask you, what kind of drives you? What, what gets you to do the things you do? Believing that you can accomplish anything and uh -huh. inspiring others to do the same. Okay, uh, we got Bill Gates with us here today. Uh, you made a remarkable contribution to the planet. Uh, you're a visionary. Um, tell us what, what kind of drives you. I mean, what, what sort of gives you your, your drive in life? To make people's lives better uh, by creating computers and th that they can use to, to better the, their lives. Uh, okay, may I ask you what you see in the future? You're a visionary. Yes, well, I, um, what we're working on at Microsoft right now is um, a holographic computer you can attach to your ear and you can speak to it. So it's like something from Star Trek, yeah? Yeah. Okay, um, Oprah, I'm sure you've got a question or two for Bill. Bill, you have more money than God. Well, you can, never can have I, to work a I, day in your life. Yeah, yeah. So what drives you and Melinda to do the philanthropic work that you do? Well, I feel like when you have way more than you need, um, I think you have an ethical responsibility to enhance the lives of others and make I, their lives better. I don't better. understand what's going on. Okay, right, well, I, I, this, this woman is convinced she's Oprah Winfrey. He is convinced he is Bill Gates. Can you ask her if she has a car? Uh, do you have a no, car? No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, all right. So. <laughs> and, uh, and we got what Martha What will be interesting in a moment is when I remove the hypnosis and they can talk to you and tell you about okay. their, their insights as well. If you're, uh, Martha Stewart. Yes, sir. Um, you're, you're renowned for, you know, the aesthetic contribution you mm -hmm. made to the world. How, how is it you go about designing stuff, you know, the lifestyle things that you do? Well, I like, to, I, I like colors, and I like to look at things, and, yeah. I, and I see the world in a way that's different than, than most people, I think. And, and I like to take that, and I, and I combine it with my ambition, and, yeah. and I use that to kind of to create a, 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 a scenescape, if you will, in my mind. May I ask you, it's sort of a controversial question, uh, how, did you, how did you find it in, when you were in jail? How did you get through that experience? <laughs> well... I mean, you, you just accept the consequences of your actions, and you, you knit, yeah. if you will, a lot of knitting. <laughs> knit. yeah. And you talk to people. People in jail are, you know, they're normal yeah. people. You do what, what you yeah. do. But finally, we got the president with us today. Um, uh, you, um, you're obviously, um, you know, somebody who uh, really believes in what they do. T tell us, do you sometimes, when, how do you handle compromise? How do you handle all the challenges being pulled in different directions? What does the president do? Well, compromise uh, is, is something that you gain over time, an understanding of. Um, and I believe that to get things done the, the way I'd like to do them, I have to compromise. And so I'm willing to open my voice and let other people mm. hear what I have to say, but I'm also willing to listen. And that's a very big part of compromise. Yes. Now that we've got a couple of other uh, eminent hosts with us here today, I wonder if you have any questions for... Bill Gates, Oprah, Martha Stewart, or the president? I, 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 I mean, do you really think you're Oprah? I am Oprah. Your name is Oprah Winfrey? Yes. Do you have any other names? <laughs> no. I mean, it's I just... Don't buy it. I know, me neither. I, I, you don't it's buy hard it. to yeah. believe. What, what, um, well, let's, let's do this. Why don't I remove the hypnosis, and okay. then you ask them okay. um, what it was like. So if you look at me, sleep, 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 sleep. 